when it's time to tackle the tough winter jobs. Break through with a Fisher XV2 V-Plow. Towering flared wings deliver snow rolling action like you've never seen. Hidden obstacles are a given, but the Fisher Trip Edge system ensures the plowed snow stays where it belongs, in front of the blade. Reliable double acting cylinders lock the wings together at the touch of a button for straight blade operation or clean back dragging. Learn more about the XV2 V Plow at FisherPlows.com or by visiting Bangor Truck Equipment. You support your black bears at the game. Why not support them everywhere you go? The exclusive Black Bear Debit Card only at Maine Savings. The Black Bear Debit Card is free to you and supports the Alphon Fund each time you use your card for a purchase. Just open a Red Wallet account at Maine Savings. Stop into our College Avenue branch or any of our other convenient branches. Show your pride. Make a difference. The exclusive Black Bear Debit Card only at Maine Savings. Learn more at MainSavings.com. For every single person coming into our program, that's a new member of our family coming in. And for every single person leaving, that's just an, that's a member of our family going and moving into another part of their life. Or go another, do another thing. Right. Get, get way in here. Get way in. everywhere I go. People, if I tell people that I'm at the University of Maine, or if I wear one of these shirts and go to a conference, um, there's always people uh, who see it and and want to talk to me about their story at, at the University of Maine. Um, I was in an Uber in Charlotte uh, not too long ago, and, and the, the, uh, the Uber driver was like, you're from Maine? I, I, I got recruited there. He's like, I didn't end up going, but I got, you know, he, like, there's no associations everywhere. Yes. yes. Faster, Eli. Good, elbows up, Eli. Um, I really take pride in being very organized. Um, I like being transparent. I like players to know exactly what they're going to be doing and what's going to be expected of them. So, like with our football team, we hang the program up um, the week before in the in their locker room, so they know exactly what's going to be expected of them that week, what they're trying to get done that week, so that they understand um, what it's for. What is this week for? How is it going to make me better? Okay, so you're under. Now pull in. So you should feel your butt working. Yeah. yeah. So that's the position we need some strength in. So you want to be here and then get here. Are we leaving that going down or are we breaking down? No, we'll break it down. Um, so my job is a lot more along the lines of being a very even keel, like a steady person. So every time you come in to, to a training session, it's the same feel. Now, it, we build up as well. So like we have a, a training periodization that'll build through our strength program, through our conditioning program, and then uh, a periodization also through our kind of our motivational program. So we'll talk about different aspects of what it means to be a student athlete, what it means to do well in class, what it means to um, get to your treatment times, and what it means to manage your body. We really look at the stress that you're under and what we can do to help manage that because you, we understand that your athlete, these athletes are already good at their sport. They're good at their sport. We need to, we need to help them be better and find out in what ways we can help them be better. So that's a very, that's a very personal perspective on how we want to look at things. What I meant by managed stress is that um, we're looking at everything that a student athlete does in the whole. So it's, think of the student athlete's exertion as a pie chart, where you're going to give some amount of effort into your classes, some amount of effort into your, um, your practice and your training program, and maybe you've got a tutor, or maybe you've you know, you've got uh, a group to meet with that night, you know. Um, so those are all things that, that happen in the lives of student athletes. So it's our job to 
you know, one, to get communication on that level about what's going on and how to properly manage where our stressors are going. Um, if, if, if you broke up with your significant other, then you're at a high level of stress. And that's something that's going to affect how your program is going. If, if you didn't sleep that night, you're going to have a high level of stress because you didn't recover from the last training day. If your nutrition's not great, then you're going to experience stress at a greater level than you are if you do have great nutrition. So I think um, talking to student athletes about where their challenges are, so in that way, we, we truly are stress management uh, professionals. Right. If you can't focus for 50 minutes or an hour, then you're gonna have trouble when you get into a game. So train those attributes here so that when you get onto the field, those things happen easily and naturally. All right, um, other than that, good job. Let's keep developing this leadership. Let's keep developing this brotherhood. Uh, let's keep developing this team. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got ground all week, man. All week, no days off. Friday's the game day now, man. You got to be ready for tomorrow, man. Don't shine for real world. And we got brain issues tomorrow, man. Let's move shine for the ground all week. One, two, one, two, one. When it's time to tackle the tough winter jobs, break through with a Fisher XV2 V-Plow. Towering flared wings deliver snow rolling action like you've never seen. Hidden obstacles are a given, but the Fisher Trip Edge system ensures the plowed snow stays where it belongs, in front of the blade. Reliable double acting cylinders lock the wings together at the touch of a button for straight blade operation or clean back dragging. Learn more about the XV2 V-Plow at fisherplows.com or by visiting Bangor Truck Equipment. You support your black bears at the game. Why not support them everywhere you go? The exclusive Black Bear Debit Card only at Maine Savings. The Black Bear Debit Card is free to you and supports the Alphon Fund each time you use your card for a purchase. Just open a red wallet account at Maine Savings. Stop into our College Avenue branch or any of our other convenient branches. Show your pride. Make a difference. The exclusive Black Bear Debit Card only at Maine Savings. Learn more at mainesavings.com. Environmental science, especially at Maine, is really broad. You can kind of branch into whatever you want, soils, policies, water, forest ecosystems. And my first two years, that's pretty much what I did. And the jobs you get kind of dictate your interests. So me, I'm particularly interested in climate change. So I work in the Climate Change Institute. That's where I've been volunteering and whatnot. And the work I do is focused on paleoecology, looking at past ecosystems and how they respond to climate change. When I was a freshman, they talked to us in one of our courses about how to get involved and they're just like, reach out to people, do whatever you can, get your foot in the door. No matter what you have to do, just open your mouth and speak to someone. So that's exactly what I did. I reached out to a grad student, I asked her about volunteering for her, and she let me do that, and eventually led to other connections within the department, and I started volunteering for a PhD student named Dulcinea, and I've been working for her the past two years, again I volunteered, then I got paid, and through that work relationship, she eventually invited me to go on this awesome trip with her. So all of that time where I was not being paid eventually worked out to this thing that I never thought would ever happen to me. It's kind of an environmental science student's dream is to go out in the field. So I've been really fortunate to have that opportunity. One of my biggest goals in going to the Falklands was I wanted to know if that kind of career path was what I truly wanted. 
I've kind of been torn in between policy related environmental work and field and research. So going there, that's really what I wanted to figure out with the faculty that we have. I knew I could easier infiltrate like the faculty and be able to work under them and that's exactly what UMaine has afforded me is I've been able to do research every single year of my undergraduate career which has been really awesome for me and it's how I got to where I am now going places going to the other side of the world and just being in the lab as much as I want to be. I think if I was anywhere else but UMaine I would have never even been working in a lab in the first place. Just the close-knit community that UMaine creates I was able to talk to students and professors who made all these connections for me that set everything in motion. It was just domino effects, everything built from my freshman year to this point. If I wouldn't have made those connections, nothing would have happened. And like I said, one of my biggest reasons for coming to school 10 hours away from home when there's a perfectly good nationally ranked school two hours away was and at a school like Penn State, you're just small fish, big pond, and here it's the complete opposite. It's You can be as big as you want here, you just gotta reach out. Going to the Falklands, it was just my boss and I, so the two of us took the trip down together and we worked in conjunction with a research institute down in the Falklands, and they kind of coordinated all of our trips and helped plan us out. Looking at the soils and how the ecosystems, particularly the grasses, have responded to the past um, climate change instances. Getting there, it really is a whole nother world. As cliche as that sounds, it, it was insane to realize like, this is what's on the other side of the world. Having those experiences really taught me a lot about myself. And like I said, you can't take a course in isolation. You just gotta do it. You never know what to expect. You just go out there and you learn by mistakes. The faculty here at UMaine are definitely really understanding of student athletes and if anything they're fans. They check in, they're very supportive and schedule wise they're like I said super understanding. Coming into athletics I felt at home because everyone was so supportive and helpful they really just want to see you succeed. So the people at UMaine are really what sells this place. With DD Perks, you get upgrades like speeding past the line and a free beverage when you join. And the best part is, after you, that upgrade feeling stays with you all day. Experience the upgrade effect. Download the Duncan app and enroll today. EBS Building Supplies is your partner in home improvement with a location near you. We're your locally owned neighborhood hardware store. At EBS, we've got a selection that can't be beat and everything you need to make your next home improvement project simple. We'll even deliver what you need for free. Best of all, we'll take care of you with know-how and a smile every time, which gives you more time to enjoy your handiwork. EBS Building Supplies can do, just ask. Hi, I'm Claire Fogler. And I'm Avery Fogler. And we are from Stonyville Dairy Farm in Exeter. Do you have a picky eater at home? Can't get them to eat their vegetables? Why not try a smoothie? Just combine one frozen banana, one cup blueberries, one cup frozen spinach, one tablespoon honey, two thirds cup of milk, and one third cup of plain Greek yogurt. Blend and enjoy. Ready, set, feel up. Duncan has lots of fall favorites to root for. Maple pecan, pumpkin, maple sugar bacon. But on game day, we root for one team. 
One team, baby. Win the fall, folks. When it's time to tackle the tough winter jobs, break through with a Fisher XV2 V-Plow. Towering flared wings deliver snow rolling action like you've never seen. Hidden obstacles are a given, but the Fisher Trip Edge system ensures the plowed snow stays where it belongs, in front of the blade. Reliable double acting cylinders lock the wings together at the touch of a button for straight blade operation or clean back dragging. Learn more about the XV2 V-Plow at fisherplows.com or by visiting Bangor Truck Equipment. You support your black bears at the game. Why not support them everywhere you go? The exclusive Black Bear Debit Card only at Maine Savings. The Black Bear Debit Card is free to you and supports the Alphon Fund each time you use your card for a purchase. Just open a red wallet account at Maine Savings. Stop into our College Avenue branch or any of our other convenient branches. Show your pride. Make a difference. The exclusive Black Bear Debit Card only at Maine Savings. Learn more at mainesavings.com.
Well, it looks uh, we have a good good core group of returners. Um, you know, we just got to make sure we, we go out and play our game. Um, you know, expectations can be high, uh, but that's something that they just that's just all it is, just expectations. So you have to go out, play fundamental baseball, and good things will happen uh, for for the team as a whole. Excelling. Well, I think the biggest thing we have is is experience. The last few years, we haven't had a whole lot of experience uh, on uh, on the actual starting in this positionally. Uh, even from as far as our starting our starting pitching goes, we're going to have you know at the very least our youngest guy's going to probably be a junior you know a junior uh, junior starter. We're very experienced in the, in the bullpen uh, with Cody Larison and Connor Johnson, and um, you know we're going to be okay as far as uh, up the middle, and that's where we're really strong is defensively up the middle. We have. You know, four seniors, a, th a junior, and three seniors playing. Four. Well, we have uh, our first five series are against regional contenders. Uh, we open up with Texas Tech, and they're a number three team. Um, you know, we've talked about this quite a bit in the clubhouse, but it doesn't matter who's in the other dugout. It matters what we do on the field, and if we go out, we play competitive, a competitive set, and we're able to just take care of our business. We can beat anybody in the country, and if we truly stick to what we're supposed to be doing, it doesn't it doesn't matter who we're playing against. Well, it's 70 and sunny in the dome most of the time. Sometimes it'll get to uh, sub-zero temperatures, but uh, for the most part, uh, our focus is just getting better on, on the here and now and uh, just uh, pushing each other and, and, and getting through until uh, the next, uh, next day's practice and then the games uh, coming up here this weekend. Uh, I think, you know, for me personally, it's just being open uh, and being honest and treating everybody as fairly as possible. And then bringing guys in, that really comes down to our leaders in the, in the, in the clubhouse. Uh, that's you know we're lucky that we have a couple of guys that are uh, very good about bringing them in. Uh, everyone everyone falls into a role at some point, and uh, you know up to this point the uh, the team has meshed pretty well. It's just gonna be built drilling the fundamentals and staying hungry and continuing and understanding that uh, we have to get better every day. Uh, if we're gonna be sta if we're stagnant and start to plateau, someone's gonna pass us up. So it's really just you know kind of pushing forward and uh, looking for the next next edge. Play. Just the same thing I would tell our guys. You got to go out and play your game. Um, that's the beauty about baseball is, you know, we play series. So, uh, you know, anyone can beat anybody any, any day of the week. And it's going to be the team that just makes the, less, the least amount of mistakes. You know, we're, we're, we're all college athletes. Um, you know, everyone's going to make mistakes as far as that goes. So whoever makes the least amount, whoever executes the fundamentals, the best are probably going to be the team that's going to win. Well, a lot of stuff we're trying to do now is actually just increase a little bit of chaos in practice as far as um, increasing stress levels, because we're not able to practice this, you know, a scrimmage in the sense of actually creating game-like situations. So, you know, we try to uh, create some stress as far as you know increasing speed, speed of the game or tempo or whatever it may be to uh, maybe get guys to rush. And um, you know, that's really what we're trying to do at this point is just fine-tune where we are, get our uh, internal clocks set to uh, game speed and. Um, Hopefully when we go out there on, uh, on Friday afternoon, uh, the sun won't blind us too much and we'll be able to uh, catch the ground balls and throw it across the infield. We're more experienced. Uh, I think we, we have, we've got a taste of winning, which is, which is very important as far as you know, uh, being able to build a culture that is going out there and, and practicing every single day and, and being determined to get better. So um, you know, just one year older, one year more experienced, um, a year hungrier, that's really where we are.